Hey everybody, it's Adam Roxby here and in this video I'm going to give you my thoughts on the amazing IMX live show I had the pleasure of seeing recently and also giving you a quick video review of the latest IMX album, The Unified Field. So IMX is the solo project of British born singer Chris Corner who is the former lead singer of The Sneaker Pimps and has been described as having a mixture of dark cabaret and very much performance oriented music so to really get the benefit of IMX you really have to see him live uh, but I didn't take a huge amount of video um, for two reasons mainly firstly I was using my mobile phone and the quality wouldn't have been very good and secondly I didn't want to be one of these people that just held up my phone throughout the entire concert um, there's a fair number of people doing that and frankly I wanted to be there enjoying myself with my friends and family. But what video I do have I will share with you now and we'll get my thoughts when I come back.
So hopefully you can get a sense of just how amazing the performance was. Um, the warm-up act was a Swedish artist called Moto Boy and uh, he opened up with a really powerful first song and really showed the audience that he could sing but unfortunately the following songs were a little bit samey and it was also let down by some rather annoying distortion on the bass which I'm sure wasn't his fault but there you go. But I do want to thank IMX for introducing me to some new music and I will be sure to check out some more of his stuff. IMX came out a little bit late but uh, as you can see from the video the performance really was very energetic and they played a selection of some of the old fan favourites including Spit It Out, Cold Red Light and President as well. And also they featured some of the stuff from the new album but we'll get into that in a little bit. Now I've noticed something about the fans at these gigs and Chris has a really strange cult-like power over them and while the interaction between the band and the audience is two ways, Chris really is revered. But I suppose that adds to the strange sexual emotional mysticism of IMX but it really was an amazing show and if they're ever playing in a city near you then I highly recommend you get out there and give it a try. I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time. Yeah. So it was while I was at the live show that I managed to get a copy of the latest album, The Unified Field. Now each IMX album in my opinion has a really distinct flavour and just to let you know where I'm coming from, some of my favourite tracks include the aforementioned Spit It Out. Missile. So you came like a missile, leaving me the whole world in exile. Think you're giving, but you're taking my life away. Like the drunk you convinced was so. Kiss and Swallow. So this album differs from some of the other IMX albums in that it was part of a new wave of independent artists using the popular method of crowdfunding to make the production possible. It is also an album which uh, has more of an influence and involvement from other artists so there's a little bit more of a collaboration in there but still every track is written by Chris as an assurance of the quality. So the first song is a real strong way to open the album, it is I Come With Knives.
Now this song opens with a very distinctive alarm and it's sort of like uh, the signature sound that permeates the album and also there's a little glockenspiel I guess is the, is the instrument. Uh He played this live and the energy that just came through was so brilliant and raw and it's a real fantastic one to sing live. I also really love the German verses in it but don't obviously know what they mean but it just adds to the overall texture and it's a real awesome way to start an album. Sorrow is the second track on the album and it really opens up strongly with this sound like a banshee but soon turns into a track that you can easily sing along to. Although not every track on the album uh, is quite so easy to sing along to. But now we come to the title of the title track of the album, The Unified Field, and it opens with this discordant texture, but it really turns into a progressive beat. But to me, it's really the lyrics that speak volumes. You know, when I first heard this song, I thought I was getting a little bit old and bitter, but to hear these words it's made me feel like he was narrating to my soul because it's really, really strange that way. Uh, also the video as well, it's quite awesome. It portrays a maestro who is lost in the city, but soon finds the ability to be able to conduct his surroundings. And what I take from this is that no matter how bitter I am or how bitter we get, I find comfort in the fact that we are all part of one species. We are all part of one unified field. The Adrenaline Room is next, and if you ever wanted a song to remind you of the fact that Chris used to be the lead singer of the Sneaker Pimps, then this is it. Um, it has a real head nodding beat that leads you into a little bit of a trance that actually made me feel strangely cold. Now, Quiet the Mind really is a gorgeous track, and it's actually the first track I heard from the new album, and I remember seeing the video online and thinking that it gave nothing away to what the whole album would be like because it's just so unique. This, this song actually came to me at a very difficult time in my life and I really took the meaning of it to heart. To me it gave a message of sorrow but also at the same time hope. Um, I can imagine this would be a great song to see done live or also an acoustic version perhaps. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed for a remix album such that was made for the Volatile Times. Under Atomic Skies is a song that I can just drift off to when I want to perhaps focus my thoughts. It may not be as loud or as brash as some of the other tracks on there, but I have to say I'd love the bridge in the middle and the lovely little elements that just proves that there really are no duff tracks on this album. Getting dark and a little bit more sexual now with Screams. Once again, we have Chris Corner drastically demonstrating his impressive vocal range. Despite its sinister sounding overtones, I find it quite uplifting. Come Home starts subtly and doesn't really feel the need to crash and overpower. It has a cute little retro keyboard segment that continues to highlight the unique sound and soul of this, of this album. Now, Animal Impulses is a fantastic track which has a real pomp brass segment which turns up the spectacle to 11. Add this to some great vocals and a bass you can almost taste, then you have the recipe for a perfect track, either on the album or also live as well. Walk With The Noise was another track that went down awesomely live. I'm definitely going to have to learn the lyrics as well before, uh, before the next gig. And it is just the perfect chorus for screaming in a crowd. Land of Broken Promises. Now, this has Chris uh, beginning with the guitar just to sort of set the scene and then the piano comes in and you just can't help but, but move to it. It builds and builds and then when the violin hits you, you're not sideways. I have to really sometimes stop myself from just hitting repeat when this track comes on. Now, at the end of most IMX albums, there's a tendency to have one of these uplifting or emotional tracks or one of these inspiring tracks at the end of the album. Just think back to Beautiful Town at the end of Volatile Times. 
and trials is no different the melody really takes you in a direction you don't expect to go you know you want to follow the key and you want to follow the key change but it's so unconventional but i love it and it's the lyrics as well that really really move you when i find that times are hard i tend to put on this track and embrace my own trials and my own shards within my soul it's it really is awesome so once again Chris Corner here with IMX has proven to be a real comedian creating a unique album of beauty. It may not have all of the, uh, the in instant punch and accessibility or the other appeals of the other works that he's done but like all masterpieces and works of genius your love for it develops stronger and stronger after each exposure and it really is a testament to his skill how he is able to craft these songs which seem to have such a personal meaning and resonance to everybody. So I'd really be interested actually to hear how these songs have uh, have affected you and what they have, uh, what they mean to you as well. So be sure to get in contact with me however you want and I look forward to hearing from you again really soon.